Question 288. When is a stack trace created? Short answer, when the exception is created. Less short answer, there is no exception to this rule as all exceptions extend throughable directly or indirectly and the stack trace is created when the throwable is created. This is why, as a rule of thumb, you should always create an exception where you throw it with a throw new my application exception pattern. In that way, the stack trace takes you directly where the error was noticed in your application. This is one of the drawbacks of the callback based reactive frameworks. Since the element that calls you lambda is the framework itself, the stack trace takes you in this framework and not in your application, making the bug much Harder. One last word, when you rethrow an existing API or language exception in one of your application exceptions, don't forget to pass the first exception as the cause of your application exception. In that case, you will have both stack tracers making the debug much easier.